Alouette 1 was launched on September 29, 1962 at 6.05 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 75-1-1 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Its goal was to become Canada's first satellite, and it would also measure the properties of the upper ionosphere using a wide range of radio waves and particle detectors. The satellite was launched on a Thor DM-21 rocket with an Agena B upper stage, designed, built, and operated by the United States, but the satellite itself was designed and built by Canada, making it only the third country, after the Soviet Union and the United States, to construct its own satellite. The British Ariel 1, which preceded Alouette 1, was operated by the United Kingdom, but it was built by NASA. Alouette is French for Skylark, and the probe had a mass of 145.6 kilograms. It was launched from Vandenberg so that it could reach a high inclination orbit of 80.47 degrees, which would be more useful to Canada than a low inclination. To get to the top of the ionosphere to perform its experiments, it had to be placed in a 1,020 km by 985 km nearly circular orbit, and this would require the Agena upper stage's ability to reignite. The probe was spin stabilized, but its rotation slowed over time due to drag. It was operational for 10 years and then intentionally switched off in 1972. It still remains in orbit and due to its relatively high orbit, can expect to remain there for a thousand years. A backup was built just in case and that was launched in 1965 as Alouette 2 into a more eccentric orbit of 2652 by 508 kilometers. It also remained active for 10 years and also remains in orbit. This launch began a long history of US-Canada cooperation in the space program, with the most famous hardware example probably being the Canadarm on the space shuttle. The first Canadian in space, Marc Garneau, was of course launched on Space Shuttle Challenger in 1984. On that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Alouette 1.